Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel, Ludicrous Feed. Today we're going to review software update 2022.8.2 here in our 2019 Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. With this update, we received four new improvements. Let's check them out right now. The first one is charging time estimation. Estimated charging times are now more accurate by taking the current battery pack temperature into account when a vehicle is connected to a supercharger or a third party fast charger. That's fantastic. Looks like they're going to take into account the battery preconditioning as well as the temperature of your battery pack at the time of the supercharging or third party charging. So we'll have to check that out next time we do a supercharge in this car. The next one is vehicle preconditioning. Vehicle preconditioning accessed via the Tesla app will now remain active up to 30 minutes after a door is opened making it easier to load your vehicle without affecting climate control. So that's fantastic because now with this new feature, we can now precondition the car via the Tesla app as we've always done, but that preconditioning will now remain active for 30 minutes, even if you open a door, that way you can load things into your car, get the kids in the car, all that kind of thing, and the uh, air conditioning will still go on for the next 30 minutes. So fantastic improvement there. Thank you very much, Tesla. The next thing is active phone calls. You can now hide your phone call card, allowing you to see the next turn when the navigation turn list is covered. Tap the phone icon on the status bar to show the card again. That's great, so we'll have to test that out in a second. And the last one is new language support. Your touchscreen is now available in Czech. To switch your language setting, tap controls, display, touchscreen language. Let's have a look at that. Controls, display, touchscreen language. There you go, and we scroll down here, and uh, Czech is now one of the languages, that's the last one there, for uh, touchscreen language. So fantastic, good to see Tesla including more languages for the infotainment screen. Okay, so I just wanted to test the new active uh, phone call card that can be hidden. I've just navigated from where we are in Forestville to Manly, and uh, what I'm gonna do is now go to the server screen and we're going to just call the Tesla roadside assistance number. And there we go. There's a phone call card here, Tesla service, special number. And uh, let's say I want to hide uh, the control screen. I also want to hide the card as well. So now that phone icon is now up here. If you want to bring it back, you just press that. Brings it back like that. If you want to hide it, slide that down and bring it back up again. So there we go. Press two. Of course, I don't need roadside assistance right now, but uh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice feature there from Tesla. You can hide away your phone card and bring it back very easily as well if you're on turn-by-turn -turn navigation. All right, everyone, let's uh, head off for an autopilot test drive. I might do a safety tutorial today uh, just to demystify autopilot for those who are looking to buy a Tesla. And for those who are curious about autopilot and Tesla, we'll uh, do a back-to-basics tutorial tonight in our Tesla Model 3. Stay tuned, let's go for a drive. All right, welcome back everyone. As I said, we're just gonna do a very basic autopilot test tonight. Nice twilight drive at the end of the day, at the end of the week on a Friday. Hope you've all had a good week. So yeah, so uh, it doesn't get any bit more basic than this. This is a single lane road coming up on the Wakehurst Parkway here in Sydney. Now to activate autopilot, just uh, double tap the right stalk here. You hear that familiar double chime, dung dung. And uh, look, all new Teslas currently in Australia get this feature. It's called autopilot, but essentially, it really is just traffic aware cruise control with auto steer. That's what autopilot is. It's very basic, and I certainly would not rely on it for quote unquote autonomous driving. It's nothing like autonomous driving. Uh, it varies market to market, but here in Australia, basic autopilot is just that. It's traffic aware cruise control. You saw that blue uh, flash come up, means that you must put your hands on the wheel and uh, keep you know, wiggling the wheel to make sure the car knows you're still there. And essentially what it does, the name is traffic aware cruise control. So it's got cruise control, it's traffic aware. So if, uh, I'll just uh, conform to the speed right now so we can go at 80 kilometers an hour, wave to the Tesla but uh, it conforms to the speed like that and also conforms to the traffic conditions. So if I, the max speed is 80, I'm coming up to this car here and if it's going slower than 80, 
then it'll go at the same speed as the car ahead of me. You can also uh, change how fast, how close you want to follow the car ahead. You know, number three, number four, number five, number six, all the way down to one. I'll leave it at two, so we don't feel like we're tailing the car. But see how I'm going at 71, even though I'm top speed of 80. So that's the traffic aware part of cruise control. And you know, most of us know what cruise, cruise control is. Uh, and then auto steer is on top of that. So, you know, it's, uh, it's rounding a curve for me. So just watch uh, once we go past this straight bit, uh, the car will follow the lane markings. So obviously it depends on good lane markings. And it works well when there's a car ahead of you. Obviously it works very well on single lane roads. Uh, I've got a few other features with my FSD package. I can change lanes automatically. Uh, I can um, put navigate on autopilot where it tries to attempt to take exits for me. See how I'm going on a curve now and the car sort of follows the curve as well. So that's the auto steer part. Uh, but, you know, I certainly will always be aware of what's happening. Can't fall asleep, can't read a book, can't text, all those kind of things. Um, and uh, look, it's even got that forward collision warning. So there was a bit of a break there. So uh, if there's any issues while you're in the car, uh, if it sees anything, then it'll stop. And so, sort of broke hard there because, uh, braked hard there because that car was turning left. So it does rely, rely on good lane markings. As we round this curve, it's still doing all right. See, I'll drop the speed limit to 60. And uh, I've got the FSD package, so it does react to traffic lights, but uh, on basic autopilot, it doesn't. But just on basic that, you know, it, it comes included with all new Teslas currently in Australia. And that's all this traffic wear cruise control with uh, with auto steer function. And on single lane roads, single lane roads, it does uh, conform to the speed limit as long as it's lower than your original session um, speed limit that you engaged autopilot on. So yeah, that's essentially our drive, uh, everyone. That's uh, autopilot, basic autopilot uh, here in Australia. Works pretty well. You go switched over to night mode that's quite nice and uh, look you can even put um, the cameras on so you guys can see what's happening so I picked the right lane that time let's see what happens on this curve here okay saw that pedestrian there you see that yeah, so the lane markings aren't great. So like I said, if you don't have great lane markings, then it will tend to slow down and not work so well. So just be aware of that. And uh, every now and then you see that blue flash come up. That means you must wiggle the wheel to let the car know. Otherwise the car will come to a stop. That's just something to know for new drivers uh, for Tesla Autopilot. All right, everyone, that's, uh, that's it for me today. That's... Um, yeah, software update uh, 2022.8 for uh, our Tesla Model 3 2019 here in Australia with an autopilot test. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, if you've mi seen anything or if you've um, noticed anything else in your update that I missed, uh, please feel free to drop a comment and I will test it out for you at the next software update video. Otherwise, hope you're doing well, hope you're enjoying your Tesla, wherever you are in this world. And thanks for watching, and I shall see you at the next software update video. Bye for now, and as always, happy charging.